What's up, YouTube? Simply unluckier. And today we have a very important video to talk about. This is about Battle of Legends Crystal Revenge. Probably a set that's a little overshadowed right now by the mag truly magnificent mavens oh my god what a set yeah we, we need to talk about crystal revenge because this set's coming out it's gonna be insane because of what i'm about to tell tell you guys and um yeah, we, we just gotta understand what's going on here so before we talk about liking this video and the giveaway that we're going to be doing for a dark wing booster box hear me out so crystal revenge is going to be coming out here in the next couple weeks and it's going to be konami's newest battle of legends set all Battle of Legends sets are based off a Animation Chronicle, this one being Animation Chronicle 2022. The last two had a number card inside, Utopia slash Leviathan Dragon, that are Astral Rare. This Animation Chronicle does not have a number card inside. Instead, it has a Starlight Blue Eyes inside. Yeah, a Starlight Blue Eyes inside. And it gets more weird. It's English. The card is freaking English. There is a English Starlight Blue Eyes in this set. Extremely valuable card that practically guarantees for most people that Battle of Legends Crystal Revenge will have a Starlight Blue Eyes because there's no number card. There's no there's no card to make an Astral Rare with um, that was the main set of the last two Animation Chronicles. So it should be this Blue Eyes. Um, of course, nothing is guaranteed and I doubt we're going to see an Astral Blue Eyes. That would just be weird. Um, but we are expecting to see a Starlight Blue Eyes. So the question that everyone's asking right now is, what is the second Starlight going to be? Because, of course, the last couple Battles of Legends had those Starlights inside. So I think it's going to be something that Konami's kind of hinted at over these past uh, couple few months here. And my guess is, of course, going to be Starlight Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom is in the Crystal Beast structure deck that was recently released. Needs a higher rarity. Doesn't have an ultimate. Um, we saw some higher rarities for some recent hand traps, especially Ghost Bell being Starlight. I think it's time for Ash Blossom to be Starlight because Ghost Bell was with Ash Blossom in the deck. So this is my guess. But for the giveaway today, I want you guys to post in the comments below. Remember, we're giving away an entire sealed Darkwing Blast booster box here. Uh, post in the comments below what you think of the two Starlights will be in Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge. Again, most people agreeing, obviously, the Blue Eyes will probably be in there because that is the main card of Animation Chronicle. So let us know in the comments below, guys. We are very interested. We're going to be giving away, again, Darkwing Blast Booster Box. Make sure you like and subscribe as well. All right, we're going to pop up in this Animation Chronicle. I wanted to talk to you guys about that. Seems quite important. Um, SimplyLucky.com will have Crystal Revenge uh, Booster Boxes at one of the, if not the most competitive price on SimplyLucky.com. Link at the top of the description below. If you guys want to grab it before we sell out of it, uh, this is going to be crazy. Battle of Legends, Crystal Revenge. Look at that. Animation Chronicle. And now we get to see some of the cards inside. So this, this entire sh set we should see inside of Battle of Legends, Crystal Revenge. Um, and a, a lot more. Because this is, again, a smaller set that... I'm just not going to open properly. That's fine. All right, here we go. The odds of pulling a blue eyes today is 1 in 20. All right, we got some new Performer Pal cards. The uh, Tyranno there. And these are the new Golem cards, I believe. The Golem cards inside of this is a brand new archetype called Golem. This one's going to be G Golem. I think it's a stubborn Golem, something like that. Um, but yeah, interesting. So there's like anime cards in here. Oh my God. That looks starlight for a second. I was about to go nuts. <laughs> All right. So there's going to be golem cards inside here. You're going to see a lot of cards, I think from Vrains and just some of the sets that have been printed. So crystal sets and crystal revenge, you know, the, or battle legend sets are based off anime cards usually. And of course the last few sets that have come out for Konami have just been Konami doing whatever they want. So, uh, Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, by the way, on that guy. Um, but yeah, so in these packs, you're going to see Apparel Rare inside. Oh, this is the new Amazonist cards inside. And of course, Amazonist cards are very much uncensored for Japan. So very cool there. Our first foil. Um, but a lot of rarities in the set. With there being a Starlight Blue Eyes, we're also going to see Collector Rares inside. Um, and I think it's one Collector Rare per box. Again, I'm not too, too sure about the rarities here. So we'll see. Link Apple. Oh, boy. 
So this is going to be another G Golem card inside. This one's going to be Crystal Heart. And then we're going to keep flowing here with the uh, Stonehenge. And these are two new cards inside here that I think are not based off of anything. I'm not sure. Skybolt cards, I believe. So very cool. And we'll keep flowing. Again, more of an informative video. This is a lot of cards that you're going to see in Crystal Revenge. Why is it called Crystal Revenge? Well, I think we're about to find out right now. So here is the Crystal Beast cards inside. And these are, this is Cobalt Eagle. And the Crystal Beast are actually Advanced Crystal Beast. Um, kind of based off the Advanced Dark for the Dark Crystal Beast kind of archetype. I'm not sure the exact anime scenario. You guys can post in the comments below and enlighten me and others to exactly what went down in the anime to make a dark Jesse, I'm guessing. It goes Yami Jesse. <laughs> um, we got some mosquitoes here, and I believe these mosquitoes are based off the ninju ninjutsu archetypes. So that's cool. I'm not sure what the other bugs inside have to do with that. Sinkatus, I forget how you say it, the Japanese bug there. Um, this, I believe, is a gadget type card or gadget box. I don't know if it, what it supports exactly. I know Morphotronics gets some support in here. And our first super rare, uh, actually pretty cool there. I think this is going to have to be another G Golem, uh, I'm guessing. This one is Dignified Trithalon, you know, something like that. So these cool, like, Golem based cards here. So that's a super rare, though. We'll set that right there. Um,. From what I understand, the golems aren't going to be changing much for archetypes-wise. There's some, there's like these doodle beasts inside of here. Oh, look at that guy. That guy is insane looking, and that is another G golem. That is very cool. Um, we got some ENs, so I'm guessing some sort of hero support with this one. And here is one of the first doodle cards that I was talking about here. This card's actually quite crazy looking. <laughs> this is Dual Beast Stego. And dice, Dungeon Dice, guys, actually getting some cool cards in here. This is, I think, literally called Dungeon Dice, Dice Dungeon. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I mean, I would love to see uh, dice Dungeon Dice cards, like, actually have a full-on archetype and deck in normal Yu-Gi-Oh. Konami, if you're watching, I think that's what you might be doing. I'm not too sure. Another G Golem there. But I kind of want to just set this aside because that's really cool to me. I don't know how many of you are nostalgic viewers like I am that just enjoyed some good old-fashioned Dungeon Dice episodes back in the day. Uh, what was our boy's name? can't remember off the top of my head. Um, I want to say Kelvin or Melvin or <laughs> whatever his name was. So this is a new shark card inside. This is Dream Shark. I actually think this card might be pretty good. Um, this is more doodle support. Obviously, you're seeing some doodles there. Uh, whatever konami artist did this i think they were having a blast um this i'm just gonna go with is possibly another morphotronic support card um just kind of looks like it works with the gadget type stuff we've been looking at oh that is so cool is that orgoth oh dude we we have a history with orgoth so this is actually quite quite awesome this is dimension dice this goes directly with our dice dungeon here and again i don't know effects off the top of my head maybe we'll have something pop up in the videos on the video here, but this this is actually pretty phenomenal to me as a nostalgic card because Dimension Dice I think was like a move you could use in the uh, in the anime there. Another Link Apple, not a big fan of that one. All right, next pack. I mean, to make this video just stupid, pulling a Blue Eyes would be awesome again. I don't know if I have used up my monthly luck here, um, but one in twenty chance. Let's see if we can make it happen. All right, we got those guys again. This Godzilla kind of themed looking card here. <laughs> Not really sure what the idea is. Maybe it has to do with that EN card before, but this is Battle of Sleeping Spirits. Um, so that's pretty cool. Yes, more Dungeon Dice. This is Thunderball, guys. Do you remember this card? That is so cool. I'm just, I have to set these Dungeon Dice cards to the side. Freaking Orgoth. And now we got Thunderball. Morphotronic cards here. And I ultra rare. This is a fusion. This is Dyna Tank. Um, for some reason, just dinosaurs getting some love here. Ultimate Conductor Tyranno themed, I guess, is the idea. I'm not sure exactly what they're fusioning with, but it seems like it is some sort of 
Dyna Base. Oh, so that that card earlier was called Dyna Base. It was not a Morphotronic card. So I'm guessing this is like a fusion with Dyna Base or something around that kind of concept there. So pretty cool. As our ultra rare for the box. Again, rarity wise in Japan, things are a little bit all over the place. Japan loves to have high quality cards with a ton of high quality rarities for every single set. So uh, Crystal Beast wise though, we're going back to the advanced Crystal Beast. This one is of course Amethyst Cat, um, kind of an evil version. That's really cool. Then we have the uh, Topaz Tiger here, guys. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. So advanced, you got the A there for advanced Crystal Beast. Um, this is like a gravity kind of move reminds me of the gravity scepter blast or whatever from Dark Magician And I love how those parallel rares look starlight to me. So that's that's great Another one of those warriors and the dino be the base for the uh, little dinosaurs here All right, still a few packs left guys Crystal Revenge. Oh, we're opening Konami Starlight, like I said. Again, guys, remember to post in the comments below for the giveaway today. We're giving away an entire sealed booster back box of Darkwing Blast, an incredible set. Um, all you guys need to do is post, you know, what two Starlights do you think will be in Crystal Revenge? Everyone pretty much thinking one's going to be Blue Eyes, and I'm going with Ash Blossom for the other one because of just what Konami's been showing off lately. This is Crystal Skull. I feel like, obviously, on the box here, um, I forget where this is from. I feel like it's from something in Yu-Gi-Oh. Amazonis. And nice. A super rare Carbuncle, guys. This is Ruby Carbuncle as a super rare from Advanced Crystal Beast. That is actually really cool. Getting one of the main, if not the main Crystal Beast as a super rare. All right, we'll keep flowing here. I'd like to see a collector rare again i'm unsure if it's one per box or what exactly this is one of the uh, japanese bugs there this is emerald tortoise guys emerald tortoise get an evil version <laughs> he looks pretty cool oh man nostalgic wise i'm actually having a blast and yes here we go this is amazonas hot springs getting a uncensored card from japan good for you japan having fun with this this will be censored for us and then another G Golem and ooh, Collector Rare. That's awesome. Man, dude, Japanese Collector Rare is looking insane. Oh, the quality is insane. Look at that. The, the foiling on the card is parallel. And then the border is Collector Rare and the picture is Collector Rare. And the text box has foiling on the border. <laughs> what? This looks so cool. Actually insane, guys. I'm going to set that over there. Um, that is, again, another G Golem. And that G Golem is going to be, let me see, Invalid Dolem? Dolman? I mean, I hope these G Golems do something here. Uh, but let's see if we get another high rarity card, guys. Again, that blue eyes is still on the table until we open that last pack. Incredible. Oh, yes, yes. I'm actually looking forward to more support for the King's Knight, Queen's Knight, Royal Flush here. Uh, this is Royal Straight. Uh, quick play card for the Royal Knights, I believe. So, And then, of course, the guy on the pack here is Royal Straight Slasher. So if I get that guy, that'd be pretty sweet as well. Woo! Getting our Crystal Beast Amber Mammoth as a advanced or dark Crystal Beast. <laughs> These guys look sweet. Performer Pals, Ultimate Conductor, and we got a Parallel Stonehenge on this one. God, love the, love the card quality, guys. I am loving, loving this right now. All right, let's keep going here. Animation Chronicle, again, shouting out the Crystal Revenge uh, box. Uh, link at the top description below, guys, if you want to get it for, from Simply Unlucky. It will be coming out soon. All right, seen most of these cards now. Another Crystal Skull, and nice. Getting our Sleeping Spirits. Battle of Sleeping, I want to say Sleeping Giants. Um, pretty cool card there. Four packs left. And this smaller set here, but usually uh, Konami's quite good about turning these Animation Chronicles slash 
revenge battle sets into big beefy sets this is dragon nails i feel like we saw this in a, some sort of Yu-Gi-Oh episode um another cobalt eagle cobalt eagle there got the gravity got the stego and a super rare this one it's quite an interesting looking card this one's heroic call i'm not sure if it's actual heroic support but uh i think konami japan konami anyways likes their heroic cards because i feel like we see some support for those here and there Personally, I would have loved just to see 15 cards supporting Dungeon Dice. I don't know about you guys, but could you imagine like a competitive Tier 1, Tier 2, even Tier 3 deck? That's just the Dungeon Dice cards. Woo-wee! I think that would be incredible. All right, G Golems. And speaking of Dungeon Dice, that's the Dimension Dice. And Thunderball here. Yes, yes, yes. Amazonas Hot Springs. And oh baby, ultra rare, Royal Straight Slasher. That's a banger in the set, especially as an ultra. I think one of the most valuable cards in this set, Collector, would be this guy. But I'll take it as an ultra. This is Royal Straight Slasher, guys. Unreal card there. I'm excited to see more support for those uh, Royal Knights. Yeah, Yugi's Royal Knights. Again, a deck that is very good about getting a ton of Knights on the field and just obliterating your opponent or getting out god cards. So that's pretty fun. Last two packs here, guys. So I'll set, set our boy up here in the, in the middle. Last two packs. Here we go. Let's give it to us. Kaiba! Let's see if we get end strong. Got a, got a little beetle there. A little bug in the last pack. And this is truly the last pack of Destiny. Let me do my best here to not show. Got some more mosquitoes. Another tiger there, very nice. Some gadgets. And another G Golem. Not bad, not bad, you guys. Again, this is Animation Chronicle. This is the set that shouts out uh, Crystal Revenge. Uh, again, coming out very soon, guys. A link for that if you guys want to order, pre order a box. Again, at a very competitive price, will be simplelucky.com. Link at the top of the description below. Uh, Starlight Blue Eyes. Probably, most likely, for sure. What's the other Starlight, guys? I'm going with Ash Blossom. I think Konami has hinted at Ash Blossom for us, especially with the Crystal Beast structure deck. Um, love these Dungeon Dice cards. Hopefully, Konami just somehow makes more somewhere. Even as a TCG exclusive, I'll take it, Konami. And again, these beautiful Japanese collector rares. Love it, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to enter that giveaway. And stay tuned for more videos. Simply, unlike signing out.